Free College Football Picks Week 7, Part 3. I'm Tony T here with our College Football Pick Show here for Wednesday. Well, we got the Wednesday game plus uh, eight more. So a total of nine games as we'll get uh, Week 7 done in, in uh, six parts. We're now here with uh, Part uh, Number 3. We'll have uh, nine games for you. Before we get into just a couple things, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free College Football Picks are updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have NFL. We also have I mean, like baseball and more, it is a good time to subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel, like this video, hit that thumbs up button. We greatly appreciate it. And we've just added uh, every pick in podcast form. Tony's Picks Podcast, all picks, all of our picks that you see on YouTube are now in podcast form over on all your major platforms. So do a search on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever podcast form I use. Search Tony's Picks. Look for this logo. There's some old stuff I did years ago, but don't don't subscribe to that. Hit this one with this logo, and you'll get every pick in podcast form. Every video is in podcast form. Every pick in podcast form. Check it out at Tony'sPicks.com. Of course, of course, our promo code. You can save 20% off all premium pick packages when you use that promo code Tony T at checkout. You can access our page by clicking the link in the description, clicking the All Cappers tab, and get signed up. Also, love to hear from you guys. So post your picks in the comments below. And pay a visit to tonyspicks.com or multi capper site showcase top cappers in our industry. Click the link to the hot cappers and get signed up. But guys like Paul, who's been on fire, uh, Mindy's been hot in baseball, Ramon in NFL. We'll put some of the numbers up here in college football. They've been pretty good as well with Collins on top. Uh, we got a lot of really good, good handicappers over at tonyspicks.com, guys. So make sure you click on the link, links and get signed up to some of our handicappers pages. We see a really good uh, last seven days for me. Uh, for, for Mindy, uh, we've got Collins up there. So click the link, guys, get signed up. Of course, you'll find our premium picks at the top of the page. Drop down menu for the free picks, the best bets here at the center of the page, as well as our, premium, our $15 pick. Each camera can designate one of their picks as a $15 premium pick to showcase their services. You can see many of them use their best bet as that. Three packs, great value there. Three packs are available at Tony'sPicks.com for your three pack of picks. So check out for great value there. All right, uh, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Louisiana versus Marshall College football pick. This one is on Wednesday. Louisiana is 2-3 after their 20-17 home loss to South Alabama. Raging Cajuns held only 276 yards with 161 rushing on 30 carries. Defensively, Louisiana limited the Jaguars on the ground and surrendered 245 passing yards on 41 attempts. Ben Woodridge completed 52% of his passes but only for 3.1 yards per attempt on the season Woodridge, 65% completion rate, only 5.9 yards per attempt. Marshall, 3-2 after their 28-7 home win to FCS Gardner-Webb, posting 421 yards. After their upset to Notre Dame, they dropped out road games at Bowling Green and Troy. Both their home wins came to FCS teams, so a win in the opener against Norfolk State. So they will have they will need seven wins for bowl eligibility. Texas Tech transfer quarterback Henry Columbia is completing 74% of his passes, 7.7 .7 yards per attempt. Issues at quarterback for Louisiana and their run game isn't helping much here with 3.8 yards of carry. Raging Cajuns good at run defense, but weak quarterback play. The player will be Louisiana and Marshall under 47 and a half. Oklahoma State versus TCU. College football pick. This one here is on Saturday. Oklahoma State moved to 5-0 after their 41-31 home win to Texas Tech. Defense held the Red Raiders to only seven second-half points. Cowboys gained 434 yards in the win. Defensively, Cowboys did surrender 379 yards, but on 63 passing attempts there. Uh, the uh, Spencer Sanders hit the quarterback season-low 49% completion rate, 6.6 .6 yards per attempt. On the season, Sanders, a career-low 61% completions, 8.2 yards per attempt. Now, that number is 6.5 per attempt in Big 12 play. Now, TCU 5-0 after their... 38 to 31 road win at Kansas. Horn Frogs ran for 144 yards on 31 carries. Defensively, they surrendered 540 yards to the Jayhawks with 351 passing on 34 attempts. Max Dugan, 70% completion rate, 9.3 yards per attempt. Career highs this year for Dugan with 73% completions, 10.3 yards per attempt. Dugan against the Big 12 here, 70% completions, 9.2 per attempt. Now, Horn Frogs doing a better job on the ground and getting better work from Dugan in conference play. The player will be TCU minus three and a half. NC State versus Syracuse. College football pick. This one here is on Saturday. NC State improved a 5-1 after their a win here uh, to Florida State. 
Another light offensive game here for the Wolfpack as they gained just 307 yards. Now, NC State was run heavy, rushing for 182 yards on 46 carries. <clears throat> they defended the pass well, but surrendered 206 rushing yards on 28 carries. Devin Leary is doubtful with an upper body injury. Now, Charleston Southern uh, transfer Jack Chambers threw one pass in relief, but ran 11 times for 46 yards on the season. He's completing just 43% of his passes with 3.4 yards per attempt. He completed only 55% with Charleston Southern last year and ran it 135 times for just 3.5 yards per rush. Syracuse 5-0 after their 59-0 home win to FCS Wagner. That was behind 631 yards. Quarterback Garrett Schrader on the season is completing career, career highs here. 71%, 9.6 per attempt. Good results in conference action against Louisville and Virginia. Quarterback situation concern here for NC State. Syracuse getting good production as well from the ground game at 4.7 yards per rush. The player will be Syracuse at minus 3. Maryland versus Indiana College football pick for Saturday. Maryland fell to 4-2 after their 31-29 home defeat to Purdue. Terrapins' run game held to 72 yards on 25 carries. They didn't limit the Boilermakers' run game but gave up 360 passing yards on 41 attempts. Talia Tagliavoa completed 68% in defeat, three touchdowns a pick, and 8.3 yards per attempt. Season wide, he is completing 74% of his passes, 8.8 yards per attempt. Indiana 3-3 after their 31-10 home defeat to Michigan. Hoosiers held to only 222 yards offensively. Back-to-back -back conference games where the Hoosiers held under 300 yards. Indiana had only 19 yards on 29 carries on the ground. Missouri transfer quarterback Connor Basilek just 51% completions with a season low 4.1 yards per attempt. <clears throat> on the year, Basilek way down from the past three seasons with 52% completion rate for the season, 5.4 yards per attempt. Hoosiers 2-10 as an underdog in the past two seasons. Indiana just 4 yards per play in the Big Ten games here. The play will be Maryland, minus 11. Kent versus Toledo, college football pick. This one goes off on Saturday. Kent fell to 2-4 after their 27-24 road defeat at Miami, Ohio. Golden Flash has run just 109 yards on 35 carries. Defensively, they struggled against the run, surrendering 236 yards on 50 carries to the Red Hawks. Colin Schley completed 57% of his passes in the loss, 7.7 yards per attempt. On the season, 61% completion rate, 9.1 yards per attempt. Toledo improved to 4 and 2 after their 52-32 row win at Northern Illinois. You know, they built a 45-7 lead after three quarters. You know, two Rockets touchdowns by way of interception return, and they finished with a plus four turnover margin. On defense, Toledo limited NIU on the ground and gave up 284 passing yards on 49 attempts. Daquan Finn completed 68% in the win, three touchdowns, a season high, 8.8 .8 yards per attempt. In his Mac games, Finn uh, completing 62%, 8.4 yards per attempt. Now, Schley is moving the football downfield in the passing game, and the Golden Flash is running for 4.6 yards per attempt. The player will be on Kent, plus 9. Charlotte versus UAB college football pick. This one is on Saturday. Charlotte fell to 1-4 after their 41-35 home defeat to UTEP. 49ers defense struggled defending the Miners' run game, giving up 252 yards on 45 carries. Team had a minus two turnover margin and gave up a 100 yard fumble recovery for touchdown and a 13 yard fumble recovery for a TD. Uh, Chris Reynolds, a season low 57% completions, four touchdowns, a pick, 9.4 yards per attempt. On the season, Reynolds, a, a career high here, 64% completion rate, 8.6 yards per attempt. UAB 3 and 2 after their 41 14 home win to Middle Tennessee State, a season high 581 yards offensively with dominance on the ground with 303 yards on 38 carries. Blazers limited the Blue Raiders' passing game just 196 yards on 43 attempts. <clears throat> Dylan Hopkins, 63% completion rate in the win with 10.3 yards per attempt. On the season, Hopkins, 67% completions, 9.4 yards per attempt. Charlotte defense giving up 539 yards, 5.8 yards per attempt, 11.3 yards per pass attempt. The play will be UAB at minus the 23.5. Texas State versus Troy. College football pick. This is Saturday. Texas State improved to 3-3 three three after their 36-24 home win to Appalachian State. Bobcats had a plus-one turnover margin powered by a 94-yard touchdown interception return. Defensively, the Bobcats held the Mountaineers to 41 rushing yards on 21 carries. They did give up 395 yards passing on 53 attempts. 
Arkansas State transfer quarterback Lane Hatcher, a season-high 72% completion rate, 7.2 yards per attempt. On the season, Hatcher, 62% completions, 6.7 per attempt. Troy improved a 4-2 after their 27-10 home win to Southern Miss. <clears throat> Trojans win despite a season low 338 yards offensively. Troy powered by a strong defensive effort, holding the Golden Eagles to 205 yards with 48 rushing on 26 carries. You know, starting quarterback Gunnar Watson, questionable and missed last game. West Virginia transfer quarterback here, Jarek Doji, started, completed 71% of his passes, a touchdown, a pick, about 10 yards per pass attempt. You know, Bobcats defense has held opponents to just 354 yards, four yards per carry on the ground, and only 6.2 yards per attempt. Bobcats offense rushing for only 1.8 yards a carry. You know, Trojans do put heavy pressure on the quarterback, averaging 3.3 sacks a game when they force two turnovers a game. You know, with Texas State run game kind of struggling right now, it'll be tough sledding throwing the football. The player will be Texas State and Troy under 48 and a half points. Western Kentucky versus Middle Tennessee State College football pick. This one goes off here on Saturday. Western Kentucky fell to 3-3 three three after their 31-28 road defeat at UTSA. Hilltoppers moved the football for 481 yards with 108 rushing on 24 carries. On defense, WKU did surrender 486 yards to UTSA with 273 yards passing on 35 attempts. Austin Reed hit on 71% of his passes for 373 yards, 7.6 yards per attempt. Reeds won well, the season a completion rate of 72%, 8.2 yards per attempt. Middle Tennessee State fell at 3-3 after their 41-14 road defeat at UAB. Blue Raiders torched defensively, surrendering 581 yards with 303 rushing on 38 carries. They also gave up 278 passing yards on 27 attempts. MTSU run game was held to just over 3 yards a carry. Chase Cunningham hit 60% from the field, but only 4.6 yards per attempt. Cunningham has averaged just 5.6 yards per pass attempt in conference. With the run game producing just 3.3 yards a carry and Cunningham not getting passes downfield in conference, it's going to be tough to back them here. Blue Raiders defense give up 283 passing yards a game, 8.2 per attempt. The play here will be Western Kentucky at minus 8. Northern Illinois versus Eastern Michigan college football pick Saturday. Northern Illinois fell to 1-5 after their 52-32 home defeat to Toledo. Huskies fell behind 45-7 after three quarters with 14 points allowed on interception returns. NIU had a minus four turnover margin. Offensively, the ground game generated 140 yards on 41 carries. Ethan Hampton hit on 61% of his passes, two touchdowns, four picks, and a season-low 5.8 yards per pass attempt. On the season, Hampton 59% completion rate, 6.5 per attempt. Eastern Michigan 4-2 after their 45-23 road win at Western Michigan. Eagles were up 35-7 at the half. Good defensive performance by EMU, holding the Broncos to just 299 yards with 208 passing on 40 attempts. Taylor Powell completed 66% of his passes, three touchdowns at season high, 9.8 yards per attempt. He returned after dealing with a shoulder injury during the win at Arizona State on the year. Powell 66% to completion rate on this season, 7.9 yards per attempt. Now, NIU is struggling defending the pass this year, giving up 291 yards passing, 8.7 yards per attempt. You know, healthy Paul makes a difference here. The player will be Eastern Michigan, minus 2.5. All right, that was our college football pick show. Guys, make sure you like, subscribe, send notifications. Visit Tony'sPicks.com for uh, uh, our best bets on the day. And, of course, don't forget our podcast, Tony's Picks Podcast, available on all major platforms. Every pick. In podcast form, every pick podcast form. Check it out over at Tony's Picks. Talk to you guys later with more picks.